What I'm going to do in this tutorial is something that is a little bit similar to what I did yesterday, except this time we're going to look at creating a quest where you collect a, a non-unique item. So in this case it's going to be just generic Nuka-Cola bottles. So what's going to happen is you'll speak to an NPC who will send you off on a quest, you'll get a single objective, deliver five Nuka-Cola bottles to the NPC, then you will have to go and get the five and bring them back and then it will be completed. It will just be one objective. Um, because I, I tried a, a, a different method but it became sort of too complicated and confusing and so this is kind of a best method to do it with. So I'm going to start by creating my NPC. So I'm just going to give it a unique ID which is going to be tutorial NPC and the name will be NPC. I'll make it a female as well. Okay. Next up we're going to make a voice type. So I'm going to right click new in here and make a voice type for her. Tutorial voice. I'm just doing this to make sure that she doesn't say any of the default dialogue. She will only be able to say dialogue that I prescribe to her in the tutorial. So I'm going to change the gender to female as well so that she'll be able to use the voice. And we call the tutorial NPC. So uh, voice type. Look for a tutorial voice. And now we're going to create the quest, which is the last bit of setup that we have to do. So quest ID, tutorial quest, and quest name, tutorial quest, start game enabled, so it should do it. So now I'm going to go to Springvale and put it in the game. Um, uh, there we go. Just wait for this to load. This is actually the third time I recorded this tutorial today because uh, the first time I made, uh, it, you know, it, it kind of messed up. So I tried some like weird method that didn't end up working as well as I thought it was going to. Then the second time uh, I came to edit and just realised I just recorded a black screen because I hadn't set up the recorder properly. So now I'm going through this for the third time. So I'm going to put my NPC into the world. Hit F, drop it to the ground. And now I'm going to just put the Nuka Cola bottles right next to her because I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate it being uh, being played through. And obviously, don't want to have to scour the wasteland for bottles while I'm doing that. So in in this example, I'm going to be using Nuka Cola bottles, just generic. And it can really be any number, but I'm just doing five because uh, well, there's no real reason. I just think five is a good number. So I'm just going to Control D and duplicate so that I have five Nuka Cola bottles. And so now we're going to get get into the, actually creating a quest. So there's, like I mentioned, there's only going to be one, well, there'll be two stages, but there'll only be one set of objectives. So I'm going to put set objective displayed tutorial quest 10 one lap. And yeah, that's all worked. Now this is going to be the last stage where you just get to complete the quest. So we'll put set objective completed uh, tutorial quest 21. Nope, no, 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 10 1 because we're completing the objective from a previous section. And then reward XP 200. Compiles up, there's no mistakes there, excellent. Now I'm going to define a quest objective for number 10, which I've referenced but not defined one yet. Index is 10. For some reason it always takes a while to like register on the Fallout 3 get when I'm clicking into display text. So I'm going to put bring five bottles to the NPC. Right. Now we're going to handle the dialogue for the quest, which is where most of the stuff's going to go down. So I'm just going to look for greeting. And right click new. Hello. Can you get me five Nuka Cola? bottles, please. Ignore. And she's not going to put a question mark because she... I can't bother. So get his ID is the default and we're going to look for the NPC that we just did. This is very, this is like the most important condition if anything because if you don't condition it so the only your NPC will say it then every NPC in the game will say it and that's definitely not what you want. And I'm just going to put get stage tutorial quest has to be below 10 for this to show up. So I'm going to now copy all conditions. And next up 
I'm going to make I'll make I'll make the next topic. So I'm going to right click add topic, and I'm going to right click new and create a whole new topic, which can be called whatever you want. But I'm going to call it tutorial bottle top, and right click new. So this will be the player will say okay, I'll get them for you, and the NPC will say okay. Remember, I want five, and I'm going to be really sloppy and put the number five instead of a word. I'll get them for you and I'll just paste those conditions in. Now we're going to add an additional condition here which will be important. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to set it to run on target which means it will run on the conversation target, i.e. the player. And we're going to look for get item count which has come up here. And we're going to look for the the Nuka Cola bottle, which is the object that's going to be collected, has to be below 5, which is obviously the value of the bottles that we're collecting. And goodbye to kick you out of conversation. And set stage tutorial quest 10. Like that. But now, if the player should, for some miracle, already have 5 Nuka Cola bottles. Wow. That was lucky have some money. Okay. I'm just going to paste conditions in. Oh, actually, I should have copied all conditions here. Just for just for speed's sake, I'm doing this. Delete those. Paste conditions. And all we're going to need to do is change the comparison here to greater than or equal to 5 for the Nuka-Cola bottles. And the player will say, I've already got I've already got five. And so now we're going to set stage tutorial quest 20. And now I could handle the awards in this stage, or I could handle them via the dialogue. I think to save me inputting them multiple times, I'll handle them here. So I'm going to go for player.add item. Uh, caps 001 100, so the player will be given 100 caps. Then player dot remove item nuka cola bottle 5, so the player will have the 5 balls taken away from him. Now back to topics. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to create a new greeting now, which is going to say, Do you have the bottles? And I'm going to paste in the conditions. I'm going to delete uh, this one here because we don't need that at this point. But just change the comparison to get stage to equals 10. Now we're going to go back here. And we're going to create two more topics. Um, I'm gonna... oh. I was told uh, in, in a comment I should sign out of Skype. But I forgot to do it uh, thinking I wouldn't get a message. And I immediately got a message. And go ahead and get and get um go back and get them prompt i don't have them yet paste conditions and this time just all we want to do is change the e equals 10 for the get stage comparison then i'm going to put thanks for your help have some money. And then put prompt. I've got them right here. Paste these conditions in and change this to greater than or equal to 5. And set stage uh, tutorial quest 20. And I'm going to go back to greetings and I'm going to add a new topic which is just going to say thanks for the help. Paste conditions, delete the Nuka Cola one because we don't need it. Change tutorial quest to equal 20. Now, just a quick thought I'm going to go back and make sure all these should be goodbyes. Just so that you're, you're thrown out of conversation once you've finished with them. And thanks for the help will also be a goodbye, which will mean it will be an out of conversation topic. Now for the first greeting, hello, can you help me find five, five new colour bottles? We're going to go to add topics and add topic. And then we're going to look for the bottle topic that we've been using there. 
tutorial bottle topic. So now, what's going to happen is, you'll speak to her for the first time when it doesn't equal 10, and she'll ask you to get 5 bottles for her, and we will link to bottle topic. Now if a player doesn't have 5 bottles in their inventory, and it is less than 10, you will be asked, you will be able to say, I'll go and get them for you. So then stage 10 will be set. However, if you already have them, if your account is greater than equal to, stage 20 will be set, and as we've seen here, we will complete the quest. I forgot to check complete quest, but make sure you do that. Then, didn't mean to click here. When you return to her, when it is equal to 10, you'll have two options. Either you don't have them yet, when it's equal to 10, but your account is less than 5, or you do have them when it is equal to 10. Oop. This is why I go through things when it is equal to 10, not less than. And your topic is your count is greater than or equal to 5. Then, if it's greater than or equal to 5, stage 20 will be set, which as we've seen completes the quest. And then once the quest is complete, stage 20, your only option will be thanks for the help. So I'm just going to save this because I'm going to go into the game now and play it and demonstrate it working. So, yeah, I will be back in a second. Okay, so here I am uh, in Fallout, about to do the quest. So I'll speak to her. Hello, can you get me five you can color bottles, please? I'll get them for you. Okay, remember I want five. And now, tutorial quest has been added. There it is right there, bring five bottles to the NPC. Now if we speak to her here, do you have the bottles? I don't have them yet. Then go back and get them. One, two, three, four, five. Do you have the bottles? I've got them right here. Thanks for your help. Have some money. And the quest will now complete. I didn't get rewarded any XP because I'm already max level. So now when we speak to her, she just says thanks for help. So I'm going to quick load now and grab them at these first. Let's speak to her. Can you get me five new color bottles, please? I've already got five. Wow, that was lucky. Have some money. And now the quest should just complete. And thanks for the help. So that is that. I didn't add a fail state uh, to the quest. Than me. But it doesn't really matter. It's not particularly important. So yeah, that, if that is that. That is a quest tutorial for non-unique items. So hopefully that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.